Hey, I'm Sarah Snow with another Get Fresh recipe. I am a breakfast and snack person. I like to wake up and eat something first thing in the morning that's going to fuel me for the day, and then I sort of subsist on snacks throughout the day. Lunch and dinner, they will happen for sure, but I have to have my snacks. So this is one of two refreshed recipes that I am going to bring you for breakfast or snack bars. This is called my energy sustaining breakfast bar. Now this recipe was originally inspired from a diet bar recipe that my mother-in-law found. I took that original recipe and tweaked it a bit to add some protein, to add some good fats in there, and add some fiber so that it would be a little bit more lasting. I've also got a nice little antioxidant punch in there. So let's go ahead and get started. You're first going to start off with two and a half cups of oats. Now, if you're making this a gluten-free recipe, as I am, of course, you wanna make sure you find a gluten-free oat source, which is not hard to find. And you wanna use the quick cooking oats, not the old-fashioned ones, not the steel cut oats, but the quick cooking minute oats. Now, to my oats, I'm going to add about a third of a cup of either ground flax seeds or ground chia seeds. I'm on a big chia seed kick right now, so I'm using ground chia seeds. These are those same things you used to hear about when you were a kid, ch ch, -ch chia they are what made the pets grow their fur, but today they're being touted for their many nutritional benefits. They are high in omega-3 fatty acids, which are of course the good fats for you. They're also high in fiber, calcium, and phosphorus, so they're gonna help you have stronger teeth and bones, reduced belly fat, they're a great fiber source, a great calcium source, and they'll help keep you full. Lots of good reasons for eating your chia seeds. So about a third of a cup of ground chia. Now I'm going to add in a quarter of a cup of cocoa powder. This is not any old cocoa powder. I like to use an organic fair trade dark cocoa powder. It is immensely healthier for you than the regular old cocoa powder. It has lots more uh, nutrients and antioxidants. So go for a dark chocolate cocoa powder, organic and fair trade if possible. My cocoa powder was a little bit lumpy, so I decided to break it up with my fingers as I put it into the bowl. To my other dry ingredients, I'm adding a half a teaspoon of spirulina. Now you find spirulina generally in the supplements or vitamin section of your grocery store or a natural food store. Spirulina is a blue-green algae. Yep, it comes from seaweed, but it's really, really good for you. It's a great source of chlorophyll, which helps remove toxins from the body, super high in antioxidants, an excellent source of iron. So it's particularly good for vegetarians. It is also anti-inflammatory and a great source of protein. I like to throw spirulina in my smoothies and I like to sprinkle a little bit in my baked goods whenever possible. So I'm adding a half a teaspoon of spirulina to my dry goods and I'm going to whisk that all together to make sure the chia seeds the oats, the cocoa powder, and the spirulina are all mixed together well. To my dry ingredients, I'm going to add a half a cup of honey and up to a cup of water. I only ended up needing to use a half a cup of water, but you can always add more if necessary. You want to bring your water to a boil, let it cool just a tiny bit before you pour it in. Now why am I using honey as opposed to another sweetener? I really like honey. I like that it's natural. I like that it's high in vitamins and minerals. And actually, I think this is very interesting, honey can help cut down on acid reflux. So if you're someone who suffers from GERD, honey might be good for you. So half a cup of honey, about a half a cup of hot water, I'm going to mix that together, and then I finish by adding in a half a cup of sunflower seed butter. Now you could use peanut butter, you could use almond butter, but we're nut free right now, so I'm using sunflower seed butter. I also really like the taste of sunflower seeds. So I'm using a crunchy sunflower seed butter just to give it a little bit of extra texture, but you could also use creamy instead. Stir that all together until it's well mixed, and then this is the fun get down and dirty part. This is where you reach your hands in there and you get your hands all gooey and coated. You're going to form these into little hamburger patty type servings. And then I like to wrap them individually, either in wax paper, or here I'm using a special paper that's foil on one side and parchment paper on the other side. But cupcake liners also work remarkably well. You just drop those little hockey pucks or hamburger patties into cupcake liners and then stack those up and you have your servings ready to go. These are excellent straight out of the refrigerator for breakfast. 
They're a fantastic thing to throw in your purse and have as a snack between meetings or between soccer practice. And they're also great to keep in the freezer. You can either eat them pretty cold coming right out of the freezer or pop them in the toaster for about 10 seconds to warm them up and then take it and be on your way. These are one of my go-to recipes that I always have on hand for breakfasts and snacks. I love them, my entire family loves them, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna love them too. Be sure to let me know if you do.